Hey, hello. You are stuck in traffic with Wolf Corlick. Couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Obviously not stuck in traffic at the moment because it's been one of those days. It's been one of those days. Uh, so hit me up in comments. Complain on the YouTube below. Tweet at me, what the heck? I came for traffic and there was no traffic, Wolf. You let me down. I want traffic and this is why I watch these videos. And I understand it, I get that. So to make up for it, I'm gonna talk about a different kind of traffic. To make up for it, I'm going to talk about network traffic. So, tip for you, if you're bored, if you wanna know more about the recent attacks, go to Hacker Forums because Mira, M-I-R-A-I, -I, Mira, has been released in terms of source code. What does Mira say? So you may have heard a couple weeks back, Rewind a weeks back. Uh, Krebs.com got taken offline. Krebs.com was offline uh, for a while. Krebs.com was hit with this record denial of service attack. So this denial of service attack clobbered them with a whole bunch of network traffic. And the traffic was in DNS amplification, which is what we're used to. It was an NTP reflection, which you almost never see, but I still think it's kind of cool. It wasn't TCP um, uh, exhaustion, right? The SIN floods that we've talked about before on these videos. It wasn't any of that. It was a whole bunch of get and post requests, a whole bunch of web traffic hitting, hitting, hitting. So much web traffic that at its peak, Akamai, which was at that point in time providing services to Krebs, was seeing 665 gigabytes, 665 gigabytes of traffic. Basically saturated him, saturated everyone downstream, saturated Akamai, huge amount of traffic with web requests. I'm like, wait a minute. There's gotta be a whole bunch of bots. And so when they looked at it, when the researchers from Akamai and others started digging into it, they were like, hey, where'd all this traffic come from? And lo and behold, IoT. Internet of Things, your cameras, um, toasters. I don't think there were any toasters. I did hear there were cameras. We're actually infected and joined, been joined to this Mira botnet. And I was like, what the hell? How's this happen? What does it look like? And now, now uh, the attackers have released the source code so that we can go behind the scenes and look at how it was constructed. Obviously, there's a, a series of vulnerabilities that are taken advantage of. Default creds, which you hear all the time in terms of IoT that are being taken advantage of. That allowed this service to be installed. And this backdoor called back to the botnet. And then we said, hey, go sit and uh, talk to this website and shoot off a whole bunch of web requests. Almost similar to, in terms of web requests, like the low um, orbit ion cannon, right? In those types of days, open, open, open up the page until you exhaust the website. But 665 gigabytes is a hell of a lot of traffic. So if you're like, hey Wolf, why are you not in traffic? I can say, hey look, here's 665 gigabytes. Go take a look, download the source code, have some fun, and I will catch you in the next video. But give it some thought. How would you defend your network against that type of attack? I have no idea what I would do. No idea. Um, it's going to be some interesting times in the next couple of years. Cheers.